Hi, my name is Julie Norris, and um, I, I, every time I tell the story, I try not to get emotional. So I'm gonna, not going to get emotional, but I thought it was important to come tonight because I want you all to know that this is not an issue that affects one kind of people, one part of the socioeconomic stratosphere. I have a master's degree from Smith College in Massachusetts. I've been working in education for 20 years. I'm highly educated. I'm a professional and have been. I happen to have gone through a divorce three years ago. At that time, my attorney told me, don't buy. You need to wait till the divorce is settled. Three years later, I can't buy. I've put bids on seven houses in the last year and got outbid by people with all cash offers. My son, who's nine, knows no other home, but we will be leaving in a year if this doesn't get settled. You sit there and you allow landlords to be greedy. What's wrong with 1.7% increase in revenue for a landlord? I'd be happy with 1.7%. As an educator, most years, I don't get 2%. My landlord re increased my rent 8% in the last two years. I asked him, just one more year, please, because my daughter will graduate this year from high school and we've already been through enough with the divorce. Can we just stay in this house one more year? No. So now I live with two other working professionals who are in the same situation as I am. Why? When you do what you're supposed to do in life and you commit to a career that's not economics, I don't make $245,000 a year. Why should I not be able to afford to live in this city? I don't understand. And I'm one face of a group of people who don't come out because we're embarrassed. We're embarrassed that we don't make the money you make and that we can't afford to live here. But I do live here. And let me just talk about a few points that I heard tonight. This is discriminatory. It's discriminatory against working class people. It's discriminatory against people of color. And it's discriminatory against women who aren't married. Because if I was married, I could afford to live here. But I'm OK not being married. And I love my job in education. So those life choices are fine for me, but you have control to say whether or not I belong in this community. This consultant that you've hired, I'm not sure how much he got paid. Two samples is a pretty small sample size, as far as I know, when doing research. I have a BS in geology. I don't do economics. But two cities is the sample size that he's giving you. How much did he get paid to find those two cities? Rent control is not affordable housing. We do need affordable housing in the city, but rent control is to keep us in our houses. We all chose houses that we could afford when we moved in. But when your landlord raises your rent 8% in two years and you don't get an 8% increase, you can't stay there. Thank you all for considering what's right in this matter. I really appreciate your time. Next speaker. <laughs>